you for joining us today and this will be part two of our teaching on what it means to be born again or born from above. Uh, I'm not going to repeat really the scriptures that we read uh, from the previous teaching so you need to go back and if you haven't heard that to listen to part one of this teaching. So I, I want to start today in, the, in a different book here in the book of Romans chapter 6 and we we did read though in in John chapter 3 we did read a few verses and I'm not going to go I'd like to go back and read all the verses that we read just for the sake of time and we want to cover new territory today but uh, I do want to mention this that you know the, the Mashiach declared that a man must be born from above in order to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah and the reason that he has to be born from above is because he has to change his nature. He has to become not a child of the devil anymore. He has to become a child of Yahuwah in order to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah and to become a child of Yahuwah. And uh, see, if, if just merely uh, for Yahushua died for us, not just for forgiveness of sins. See, like that's another thing that, that people don't understand is that they think that the Mashiach died just so we could be forgiven. And that's, well, that's, that's only part of it. Because, you know, if, if you were, and I were only just forgiven of our sins, the moment that we died, say that, and we went to, say, to heaven, um, we still need forgiveness up there because we really would not have changed whatsoever. We really would be the same person up there and uh, carrying out acts of sin, still falling short, and so forth and so on. Because... That's why you have to understand that there has to be a new birth. There has to be a, a new creation. And that's what Paul even wrote about, or Shoal wrote about in 2 Corinthians. And uh, chapter uh, 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and all things have become new. Wow. What's, what's that talking about? You know, when you receive the, the Ruach, when you receive the Spirit of Yahuwah, and He comes to abide and to live on the inside of us, the, the Scripture declares that we're a new creature, not one that's, you know, just made up. We're, we're actually a new creation, one that has never existed before. And, of course, I'm talking, it's the Scripture's talking about the inner man, not the outward man, who we see and know and and we, we know that our outward flesh can still sin. The outward flesh can still um, have, we can still have bad thoughts in our head. All these kind of things are just this uh, evidence that, that redemption is really not complete yet. But it started the moment that you received Mashiach and acknowledged him as your savior, your salvation, and you put your faith and trust in him. And the moment that the Ruach spirit of Yahuwah came into you and I, that's the moment that you were born from above and the process of your redemption began at that point. Now it's going to be complete at the at the, the last trumpet when we this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal will shall have put on immortality. And um, so, but the point I, I want you to see here is that, uh, you know, the, the, the Mashiach didn't come just to forgive us of our sins. He actually came to change who we were, to give us eternal life. Eternal life is not just living forever. It's actually to, to, to give us the nature, you know, of our Father, you know, to, hit, to give us His Spirit. Second Peter chapter 1, I believe verses 3 and 4 says, according as His divine power has given to us all things that pertain unto life and, 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 and godliness is the word that's used there, but it's, it's talking about all things that pertain unto life and to Yahuwah has he given to us. And it says here that whereby that we might be partakers of the divine nature. Wow, what a scripture. That you and I might be partakers of the divine. Divine means Yahuwah's nature, his, his, who he is. And that's why when he gives us of his spirit, we become united with him and we become part of his family and we have become partakers of the divine nature. No longer are, are, do, have we partaken of satanic nature on the inside. We have the divine nature now. We are a new creature in Mashiach. And that's good news to know that. Um, I want to read a few verses in the book of Romans, uh, chapter 6. And here, it, here it, it speaks about, Wherefore, as by one man 
Now this one man is talking about here is Adam. For as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed, or spiritual death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. There's not one person out there that has not that has come into this world that sin has not been passed on down through the fall of Adam. Whereby one man sinned, entered into the world, it was by his, his transgression and fall. You might say, well, that's pretty unfair that I didn't want to be born. Well, I haven't finished reading the rest of this chapter, you know. It's going to give you the good part of this because it's going to tell you that for as one man's disobedience, well, let me just read this to you. If you skip down to verse 19, it says, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so that by the obedience of one, who's the one it's talking about here? Mashiach. For as by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Hallelujah. We're going to be made righteous. We are made righteous the moment that we've received Mashiach. We have partaken of his nature, and that's what causes us to be righteous. You know, it's not, it's not by doing good deeds or good actions that's going to cause you to change your nature. You can't change your nature by just living a good moral life. You can't even change your nature by keeping all the commandments. You can't change your nature by doing all the, 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 the Torah. It won't change your nature. Now, you, you, can, you, can, you can walk in obedience to the scriptures, but the still it's of necessity that you be born from above or born again. I'm going to pick back up here on some more verses in our, in our third teaching, third part of our teaching next, next time we're, we're together. And uh, so I want to thank you for joining us today. And uh, I'm going to sign off right now and uh, look forward to sharing some more truths with you. Thank you.